Pittsville here with HangGear.com. Just wanting to do a quick video of our rollout nesting boxes in action. Here at Seven Sons Farms, we're running about 5,000 laying hens on pasture in these uh, portable greenhouses that are on skids, as you can see. The houses are parked for the winter time, and the birds have been bedded down with these wood chips to help keep them warm for the winter. But they'll be heading back out the pasture first this spring, as soon as it warms up. We're running a little over 100 of these nesting boxes on our farm. We designed them from the ground up for pasture poultry operations. They have greatly uh, improved the efficiencies on our farm. Uh, they've really cut down our labor costs, our cracked eggs, and uh, dirty eggs especially, which really cut down on our, on our egg washing time. So yeah, we'll flip the camera around here and show you how the nesters work here. So as you can see here, these are a community style rollout design, which means there are no dividers in these boxes. And the reason for that is because with traditional nesting boxes that have dividers, hens like to use nesting holes that, are, that have already been occupied with another hen, which can lead to overcrowding issues and hens getting kicked out before they've even laid their eggs. Um, we use the color red for the curtains. Hens really like the color red which is why so many of your chicken feeders are also red. Hens also love to lay in dark areas. So with these curtains here, we've created a, uh, an area here that is nice and dark for them to lay in. So we've created an environment that is ideal for, for a hen to lay in, which should, should reduce the number of uh, floor eggs you get. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up one of these boxes here and take a look at them. So to gather the eggs, all you have to do is lift up this roost bar here and then lift up the lid. And as you can see here, how clean these eggs are. Um, that's because when, when the hen lays her egg on the soft pad that lands, it rolls down out of the way away from the hen. Um, you know, with a traditional nesting box that is not roll out, um, eggs would just gather up up in here and they could get all manure -y and uh, you know if an egg ever did crack on them um, it would just make a mess of the, uh, of the rest of the eggs here. So that's one of the big benefits of having a rollout nesting box that allows the eggs to, uh, to roll away from the hen here. I'm going to pull out this pad here and talk a little more about this pad. So it easily comes out for cleaning if and whenever you need to. It's made of this plastic AstroTurf material. It's a uh, very strong, very durable, very flexible uh, material. This also makes for a nice uh, kind of a pad uh, for the laying hen to lay in and also for the egg to roll down on. It definitely beats having to always freshen up your nest box with straw or, or wood shavings. Um, it really cuts down on your time and labor um, using these uh, uh, these pads. So we find that we only have to collect eggs about once a day versus uh, multiple times a day with uh, traditional non roll out nesting boxes if you want to keep your eggs clean and unbroken. In the afternoons we'll come out to, uh, to gather eggs. We'll, uh, we'll latch the uh, root, roost bar shut to make sure no hens sleeping in overnight and make a make a mess of the uh, nesting pad. We'll collect the eggs and uh, we won't open the box up till the next morning. Our boxes come in three different sizes. This is our large. This uh, this box will accommodate up to 45 to 50 hens. Our medium box will accommodate up to 20 hens. And our small will accommodate up to five to seven hens. The, uh, the small and medium sized box uh, works out perfect for uh, small backyard uh, flock owners. All of our boxes are very strong, very sturdy and durable, and also lightweight, which make them uh, very portable. The boxes hang on those uh, two hangers there that are screwed into the wood. We, uh, we recommend that after you receive your, uh, your box and you, get it, and you get it all assembled, it's very easy to assemble, we recommend that you remove all of your old nesting boxes and uh, and to uh, tape up a couple of the curtains on your box. We don't recommend using uh, uh, duct tape as we did here because it leaves a kind of a nasty mark. But we tape them up just for about the first week so the birds can figure out how to use them. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
Be sure to check us out online at hanggear.com or on Facebook. If you'd like to learn more about what we're doing here at Seven Sons Farms, check out sevensons.net. Till next time.